There we go. Relationship change. Okay, so this is interesting because <clears throat> we'll have to talk about this because I'm, um, again, explosive, good or bad, right? You know, I'm seeing this because we do have uh, Uranus going into our seventh house here in March, and we also have Mars there. So this could be a definite relationship change because Uranus is the planet of uh, the unexpected, and I'm feeling that connection to the mushroom energy. Uh, explosion changes, stirring up the situation, uh, and Mars being there, it's like action, drive, you know, really confronting uh maybe your feelings and a, a connection to a, a partnership and finding the balance uh this also could be a change in finding a relationship right because uh, gosh with uranus in the seventh house i can say when uh, i'm a virgo rising so when i had um uranus in my seventh house uh, not, you know, I had it in Aries in the eighth house for the last seven years, but before that it was, uh, in my Virgo rising in the seventh house. And I can tell you, I had really some, uh, different and unusual experiences in my relationships, but it was in Pisces. So of course, being in Pisces in the seventh house, that is about confusion and being in like Neptunian relationships, uh, definitely not being in, you know, the same realm and not being really grounded in relationships. So those are relationships that come and go, but it was a very exciting time. But I feel with now, Uranus being in Taurus in the Scorpio seventh house, I feel that's more of a stability, more of someone that um, is going to give you, you know, a, maybe a long lasting relationship because Taurus is definitely one who takes his time to build and grow. And um, so that's what I feel is with Uranus and Mars being in the seventh house of Taurus, relationship changes. And that could be for the good or for bad, but you're trying to find the balance, right? In the seventh house, you're trying to use the Taurus energy of what you believe in, uh, your, what you believe in what a relationship looks like. And, uh, Uranus is like, you know, I am shaking up things. If I don't like what I'm connecting to in a relationship, I've got Mars right now to say, I'm going to do something. We're going to confront my fears and put action in it. So, uh, let's look at, um, also a, um, overall energy that may, um, that we may be tapping into this month here, uh, a karmic situation uh, that may be very prominent for us this month, Scorpio. So let's see what the overall energies that may be playing for us, showing us here, Scorpio, in the month of um March, and we have the beautiful card of Archangel Michael. So that is about protection and love and guidance. So I, I do feel this is about knowing that if there is a relationship change, if there is things that are happening around you, uh, believe in your angels and guides and uh, know that you have protection and love and light. And so let's read about this relationship change and this connection to Archangel Michael before we go deeper into your reading here. So let's first look at this number 56 energy here. And that is also the number relates to the number 11, right? So it is about what those ones, new beginnings, changes. Uh, so let's see what the 56 number energy is showing to some of us here uh, in the month of March, Scorpio, for a relationship change. This card indicates a time when a relationship in your life is going through a period of change. This adjustment is inevitable and necessary for the natural progression of the relationship and the wisdom and experience gained will be of great benefit to all involved. Whether a child is leaving home, a partnership friendship has ended, or a loved one, friend, work, colleague, 
or neighbor is going through a change, know that you and the other person are divinely guided and protected and have the strength to carry on. And that's why you have Archangel Michael. You are divinely protected. And whatever you're going through uh, at this time regarding a relationship, a situation uh, that's very deep and connected to you, uh, know that you are um, protected so and divinely guided. This card could also indicate a positive relationship change, such as a declaration of commitment, for example, a wedding or engagement, and can also indicate the resolution of an ongoing problem or dispute. In order to improve your current situation, Scorpio, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward a change in relationship dynamics. During this period of transition, it's important to remember that as you grow and evolve, your relationships grow and evolve too. So be flexible and adaptable and know that all is well. And with Uranus definitely being there in March, in the month of March, it is important to be flexible and adaptable in your relationships. Uh, the affirmation this month for Scorpios. My relationships grow and evolve for the greater good at all. So, yes, I feel whatever is happening uh, in your relationship dynamics is because it's, it's needed. It's, it's for you to find balance here, Scorpio. And if it's for you to finally connect to love, I feel you're being guided to someone. And it is going to be a very special and loving energy. Uh, especially, you know, we have Venus in our fourth house this month, and that is connection to love, family, home, security. So, yes, this may be feeling a lot of joy and comfort uh, and happiness in, in, in enjoying someone, uh, feeling comfort and, and love. So let's read about Archangel Michael, and then we'll go deeper into your reading here. Uh, let's see what Archangel Michael is guiding us and giving us uh, this month. Let's see. The Archangel Michael is a channel of divine power. He is seeing her sharing his energy with two small children, bringing them great strength and support. He is about to pick up the boy, and he can help you lift your energy too. When you receive this card, know that your energy reflects Michael's amazing strength. This can be a cycle of increasing power for you, one where you feel your courage growing and you know what action to take next. Trust your convictions, your power, and your resourcefulness. I have to go back to the seventh house here because it does say uh, you will feel the, the courage growing and you know what action you will need to take next because you have Mars in there saying, I will be there to help you put something into action if you need to. So, uh, yes, Archangel Michael. Upright heralds a time of greater courage, force, initiative, and action. So don't delay. Uh, he's right there with you. So tap into the dynamo within you and take the action that compels you. With Michael and your own power, you can move mountains and lift yourself to new heights. Yes, you can. And, you know, this could be a huge change also for you, some of you Scorpios, in... Um, you know, finding new partnerships and relationships to help uh, maybe grow your business or to find a new avenue because, uh, you know, relationship could be, you know, a par partnership change in your work energy. But it does look like you're seeking balance in whatever you're doing in the seventh house. You are finding ways to cooperate with others. And it also is about maybe being really energized to focus on, you know, you know, working with others, like, you know, finding more clients, finding more business, finding others who want to cooperate with you to, uh, who believe in you. So that could be a big change too, with Uranus being, uh, going into Taurus in the seventh house. There may be a big explosion, a big change 
and receiving more clients, more business, more opportunities, uh, connections to better partnerships and relationships that are going to grow and expand and really be profitable for you. Because of course, what else do we have, Scorpio? We have Jupiter in our second house. But let's focus right now on maybe some unexpected changes that may come up for us in March here, especially since we do have something happening with Uranus in that seventh house with Mars. So let's see if anything unexpected is going to happen for Scorpios, something that we need to be aware of in the month of March here. Uh, and we do see that it could be about a relationship. So let's see here, but we are divinely protected and we have the courage to do what we need to this card wanted to fall out uh, ten of pentacles so this is definitely focusing on family and your relationship and i do feel things are either evolving and changing to where you're finally wanting like the relationship change card say finally moving into the next level making a commitment to finally uh feel secure and this is definitely the taurus energy feeling more secure and balanced and you know uh really feeling more stability in, in a relationship, a partnership. So yes, I do feel uh, this is going to stabilize a relationship. It looks like this may be a time where you will find love, or if this is about finding you know, peace and harmony in a relationship, it looks like you can move towards that. But it definitely can mean also this could be about a long lasting relationship that is about to go through a big relationship change and you have the mouse there to prove it. So this is about some of you are going through some type of stress because there is going to be some type of relationship change, something that you are aware of and you will have the strength and courage and power with Archangel Michael to make any type of change that you need to. But I do feel there may be something very stressful that you are going through uh, in relationships to uh, love, uh, commitment, marriage, family. So let's look at um, any type of blessing that may come up because we do have Jupiter blessing us in the second house of our finances and resources. So yes, we do want to be blessed in our finances, don't we? So let's see what type of blessing that we're going to feel this month here. And let's see if it has anything to do with our finances and resources here. Uh, good fortune. That's what we all need, right? Yeah, we've got some beautiful positive things happening. So a blessing. This is a blessing of positive vibrations, changes that are happening. So, you know, Jupiter being in the second houses, I do feel there's going to be positive changes to your finances. Things are growing and expanding uh, for you. So, and this also could be, you know, stress with the Ten of Pentacles and the mouse are stress on your finances, stress on how you're going to grow and prosper and retire and have enough. And I feel some of you Scorpios may be stressed about that. And maybe there's something coming that's very positive to see that you will have the resources uh, and a way to grow and expand and make some changes. And maybe this is about maybe making some changes to find a new job or find a new partnership, grow and expand and work with others. Uh, but let's pull another card here and see this positive connection to the sun here. Positive new growth and positive changes in love. So I see uh, positivity definitely in our finances, but this is about positive relationships coming and changing and this really may be your finances changing because of your status in a relationship too so i see a partnership evolving this really is about changes to the relationship that seem to be really positive for uh, us scorpios so whatever change that you are wanting to make it's it's because you want to do this. You know that it's for the best. It's positive. And I feel a lot of you are really focusing what you want in uh, your relationships and positive and partnerships. But yes, very positive this month for working with others, for growing, for uh, financial opportunities. So let's look at where are we at now. Let's look at uh, love. Yes, let's look at love because it does look like there is some type of 
love, some type of relationship that may be on the horizon. And we see um, Venus in the fourth house of Aquarius. So let's see how our love energy is flowing, Scorpio, in the month of March here. So let's see. Whoops. Cars there. But let's see if uh, we're going to have a lot of joy and excitement and love that we're going to feel. There we go, Scorpio. Six of Swords. It's interesting because I'm getting this card for a lot of readings that I've been doing lately, and I too feel that they've been in the. Uh, in the connection to Venus. And so a lot of us are making some changes and moving forward, right? So I feel, yeah, some of you are moving forward, even though it may be stressful because I feel some of you may have been in a long lasting relationship and it is stressful on the family, but I do feel you have the power, the strength, the courage to move forward if that's what you want to do. Uh, I do feel uh, some of you do see a, a, a new pathway and it's like you're opening up more to what you want and need in your emotions but there's also about moving forward maybe towards love moving forward and yeah some of you I feel maybe that's what it is migrating moving forward because someone that you are connecting in love may live farther away than where you live now and you're moving forward moving towards where they live at or yeah i feel maybe that's what's going on scorpio so some of you may have a love connection far away uh something very unexpected and now you're moving forward now you're going to make some changes in the fourth house i feel some of you're going to move some of you are going to you know really just open up and experiment on this new kind of energy of love but let's see here let's pull one more card uh scorpio in our vibration of love here luck and we see the number two and of course that's connection to our second house of finances and of course we have the positive sun and the stork card um geez that could be a blessing of uh, of a child uh, to also i see that also that could be luck and you know procreating right uh, we see the stork there uh, partners and we see a child and luck so this could be a very strong connection of blessings around children uh, but I feel there's a, a special partnership on the horizon for some of you Scorpios there's a lot of luck uh, especially if this energy is farther away from you it's like uh, don't let that stop you um, because I feel wherever um, this love energy is it is is I feel you're gonna feel at home it's like you won't feel like you're going to be missing you know where you live at now it's like you know you'll find a new home a new life and it's going to be different it's going to be quite different maybe than how you're living now um what you're experiencing now but yeah i feel changes and moving forward and finding a lot of luck and happiness and joy yeah there's a lot scorpio venus is just blessing us this month to say you know things are going to go well this month there's a lot to be hopeful oh and this is the luck card remember i said the mushroom is connected to good luck and here we get the good luck card so yes we've got this and oh my gosh right next to it guess what do you see those mushrooms down there so yes and it's right next to the good luck card yeah so what is our spirit guides and angels saying yes look towards the mushrooms they are giving you good luck they're giving us some type of luck some type of magical psychedelic feeling i guess and it's going to be like way out there it's just an amazing feeling i i do feel how cool is that uh, i love that so yes expect something about a, a change in a relationship status but it's very lucky it's 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 bringing you towards you know stability and um you know um whatever this changes it's positive 